approved by the commission to create a proper record upon which we may be assured that the commission is functioning uh, properly and carefully, I will continue to have significant concerns. Now, in view of what I have said, Mr. Chairman, I, I think it is fair that I should permit you to respond. I hope I have not offended you, but these are our honest concerns, which I think you can observe are shared by members of the commission. But I think that when you observe the, the, the process and the practice, it becomes clear that it is, it is not including the public in a way that the public should have been included to have its comments properly spread upon the record. Mr. Chairman, if you wish to respond, I'd be honored that you do so. Sure, and thank you for uh, for the opportunity to. The, I, I think that the Commission has actually followed the appropriate procedures in the media ownership context to allow for people to be able to understand what the Commission is proposing to do and to actually uh, allow for them to have uh, the opportunity to comment on that. Indeed, the Commission has no obligation to go through the extra step before we adopt an order of publishing the proposed rule. Uh, we In our notices of proposed rulemaking, the law allows us to seek general comments with directions of, the, of what we are thinking about doing and have people make comment on it, and we actually very rarely go through the extra step that we did here of of before that uh, the uh, commission action publishing the actual rule so that people can see that again. But that does not create an initial obligation to go through and do the whole notice and comment cycle over again. Uh, so, and actually, it, it was an extra step. If if an extra step of disclosure to the public triggers additional process requirements, it will actually discourage the Commission from taking that extra step. And that was what we were doing in this instance to try to give them more opportunity to see what we were doing. As far as the uh, internal processes and how the Commission ends up uh, operating, I'm sure that they can always end up uh, being improved, but we've been operating under the same internal processes since I was a staffer working for Commissioner Fritch Scott Roth when Bill, uh, when Bill Kennard was chairman. And we followed the same process and procedures that we did then. When I was in the minority as a staffer, when I was a commissioner under Chairman Powell, and, and since I've been chairman, we follow the same basic processes and procedures. I'm going to say something that I learned when I got to be chairman of this committee. I went to see the parliamentarian. I said, it was Lou Deschler, who was one of the giants in that business. And I said, Lou, I'm very concerned about how I'm going to do when I'm chairman. I said, what am I going to do to do a good job? He said, John, you got to do two things. One, you got to be fair. And two, you got to appear fair. Those are rules that I have not not breached. I suspect the second is the more difficult of the two rules to adhere to. I just would observe one thing else. Um, I always am interested in the substance, but I am very, very interested in the procedure because my old daddy taught me a little lesson way back when I was young. He said, son, if you let me write the procedure and you write the substance, I will overcome you every time. And that's why it is so important that the process and the procedure be fair. You are the, you are the guardian of that within the commission. And I say this with, with respect and affection because I like you and I think you're trying. But I would observe that these are matters that are going to, I think, require your attention. And I suspect if they do not get that, I imagine that they're liable to see these things upset by the courts over failure of the commission to properly give notice and opportunity for for comment. And I just hope that you will keep that in mind as you proceed about the business of the commission. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I think that is a very good note on which to uh, end uh, the um, questioning of the uh, Federal Communications Commission. We thank you very much for yeah. your patience. Uh, and obviously we're going to be in very close contact with you with uh, many of the issues that were raised today.